What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Mold Man episode. I'm still in South Texas with my boy Skyler. We are literally in the middle of nowhere, Texas. As you can see, it's just regular old Texas, a few mountains off in the distance. We call those mountains here in Texas because they are uh, mountains to us. But, but we are headed to do something very cool and very unique, something that is not very known in Texas. We are going spearfishing. Tilapia, what is, what is there? Tilapia, carp, gar. Uh, red ear sunfish, sucker fish, which we call river horses, and uh, then Rio Grande cichlids, which are my favorite fish to shoot and eat down here. And not a whole lot of people get them unless you're in one of these clear water rivers down in the south. So, basically, got two spear guns, got some fins, snorkel, and mask. And we're gonna go see what we can do on some fish. He showed me a video um, that he did a while back. And he has a YouTube channel as well. I'll link it down in the description. Blackwater Guide Service. You can also check him out if y'all are looking for a hunt here in Texas. Uh, he can put you on anything you want to. So anyway, the video that he showed me, the water is absolutely crystal clear. I've never seen water that clear in Texas. So I'm really excited to get here. Edwards Aquifer is where this water's coming out of, spring fed. So it's super cold water, but it's gonna feel great because it's 100 degrees right now. But see you guys when we get there. We're almost there, boys. We are here. Look at those cliffs. That's crazy. All right, guys, that's what we're working with. Got a little Cressy spear gun. Got the GoPro rigged on it. Fins, mass snorkel. And we're about to go over there. Some clear water. I'm scared to take this camera down there, so probably from now on until we start cleaning fish. Hopefully we have fish to clean, but GoPro footage from now on, so here we go. All right, guys, here we go. Guys, it's pretty freaking awesome. I haven't uh, killed anything yet. I've hit three, and uh, I'm about to get in right here. This looks like a money spot. Little rapids, little deep hole. Let's get it. came here for boys that's a little guy but there are some big ones in here all right guys i let one of them go on accident but we got three fish so far this guy is uh not owning up to his uh his talking about how good he was at spearfishing that spear gun is not participating today. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
but we got some woods down here that uh, look good so should be able to get on some tilapia we haven't shot any tilapia yet those are all Rio Grande cichlids so I'm gonna get after it guys literally like dead through the mouth no point that's what i'm talking about here you go you want to slide that off put it on the stringer heck yeah walked about two miles barefoot on a gravel road back to the truck <laughs> It was terrible, and I don't know if the GoPro caught it, but if it did, if it didn't catch it, I shot a ginormous tilapia, and it was a far shot. The The tip of the spear didn't go all the way through it, but enough to where the barb was in it, and I went to grab it, and I went for its gills, and it shook off, and the whole tip of the spear unscrewed from the, from the actual uh, bolt, so I'm done. We have three fish in the cooler. I think I hit five or six fish. And uh, we're just coming down here a little ways. Get past this shallow spot and then uh, hit a few more holes. And then we're gonna cook up some lunch on the bank. So, I don't know. I guess I'll be filming Skylar from the, for the rest of the video, but stay tuned. I'm hungry and I can't wait to try these cichlids. All we have is cichlids. We haven't killed a tilapia yet. So, hopefully we get a few of those too. Oh, 
All right, everybody, we just got done. Uh, we we're out for probably four and a half, five hours. How many did we end up with? We got two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten fish? Ten fish. Didn't, up, didn't end up with any tilapia like we were really hoping for, but got us a skillet and um, got a few vegetables and stuff. We're gonna make some. We're gonna make some fish tacos. So I'm gonna get to cleaning these fish, and then uh, cut some uh, peppers up and stuff. Get them cooking, and then uh, we're gonna eat good. All right, guys. This is a Texas cichlid. That thing is weird looking, but that is awesome that we even have these in Texas. They got some gnarly teeth on them too. This is my first time using my uh, northern knife fillet knife, so. I know it's razor sharp. Let's see how it. They got like this meat up there in their head. Oh yeah, it's super sharp. So I'm kind of just working with what I got, um, and what I got is a rock. So this isn't the easiest fillet job, but. See what these uh see how these fillets turn out. Nice little white meat. I've never tried these before, so this little fillets off these guys. So I finished cleaning these fish and uh, I'll catch you whenever we start cooking. Alright guys, got a little squeeze butter. Got a lot of squeeze butter. Got some uh, cilantro, fresh onion, bell pepper, and jalapeno. I'm gonna go ahead and saute all the peppers. I guess we'll throw some onions in too. Just like that. Let all of that cook up a little bit. Got some yours truly critter glitter. I'm gonna dust the fish off with some critter glitter. Just kind of roll them around in that. Just like that. Perfect for tacos. Dust these off with a little critter glitter as well. Now we're gonna let this stuff simmer down and then uh, We'll add the fish, and the fish won't take but a minute to cook. So once this is done, throw the fish on, and then slap it on a tortilla. These are done. We're just gonna dump them right here on this plate. Gonna add a little more butter before we throw the fish on. Squeeze butter, best thing since sliced bread. Critter glitter, best thing since sliced bread. Oh, this gonna be good. Got a few scales on there, boy. Those little fish, got a few little nuggets out of them. Should have just cooked them whole. Nothing like cooking fish tacos on the side of the river that you just got done spearfishing in, in Texas. Leave it in the comments if you have ever spearfished in Texas. Cause I haven't. I have, but not, not like this. It is time.
take you a tortilla, slap you a couple little fish nuggets on there. We did not come prepared with spoons, but we don't need spoons. We got our northern knives. If y'all want to check these knives out, uh, their link will be in the description. Super awesome guys and super sharp knives. I just came up with the best line for northern knives. All right, get you some of that. I think I can grab these vegetables. They're cooled down enough. Sorry, I'm just going all in. Just gonna have to get over it. Take a few fresh onions and some cilantro. He doesn't like cilantro, how crazy is he? Last but not least, some Mexican taco cheese, taco blend that's half melted from the truck. That looks delicious. Mmm. I'm not gonna rate this fish as just fish because I can't really taste the whole difference in between other fish. But I will rate this as a fish taco. I'm gonna give it a 9.2 because it's the best fish taco I've ever had in my life. Alright, Scott, you make one, tell me what you think. Alright. That's the butter and the crab butter. Alright. Can't beat it. Rio Grande Cicla. Wow. That's good at that. If I had to say what it tastes like, it tastes like Texas. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic, man. Well, guys, that right there is what it's all about. Having fun hunting and fishing and uh, that was amazing so thank y'all for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it it's probably one of my one of my favorite videos that I've done spearfishing in Texas that's pretty awesome so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and remember eat good